there, man. Okay, just two. You are the oh, worst human being I have known to make. I want you to know that we're going to this state, to the United States, to everything else in this world. I don't care that your daughter's here. What you have done to people's families, what you have done to everybody else in this world. That is Tucker Carlson being confronted by a man named Dan Bailey at a fly fishing shop in Montana over the weekend. Now, of course, the ladies of The View wanted to give their reaction to the viral clip, but I gotta say, this is not the reaction I was expecting. Well, I'm against public confrontations like that, especially when you're in a hostile state of mind. If you have something to say to me, tweet it. But, you know, don't come up to me with your hostility if they, I don't like that. I think when you are, you know, at, with your family and you're on vacation, um, you, you should be safe. You should be safe from being accosted or being confronted. Maybe you guys thought that man was being polite. I thought he was being a total jackass and incredibly rude. Well, I don't believe in confronting people in public, whether they be alone or with their family. That's what we fight for here in this country. It doesn't help, though, when you go out and you encourage other people to do it to people you disagree with. So it's kind of a slippery slope. So maybe if we all stop encouraging people to go out and yell at folks in, in public, maybe we can sort of dial it back a bit. So yeah, I really disagree with the ladies on this one. Like, I actually think it's a little bit pompous to have the mindset that I'm going to put an opinion out there on television that is seen by millions of viewers every single day and I have a job because those millions of viewers watch the show to have the mentality that those same viewers are not allowed to have criticism or opinions about what I said on television is very odd. Um, like, I mean, working at ET Canada, I mean, you're very conscious that, yeah, you, whatever you say on air, a lot of people are going to see it. And even, you know, we talk about a lot of celebrities. I always had the mentality that, sure, we'd have to have these opinions about what certain celebrities did. I always had the mentality of, would I be comfortable with saying this to the celebrity's face? I would have to say yes to that question. It might be an uncomfortable conversation, but yeah, everything I said on air, I would be prepared to say in front of the celebrity. So you have to have, have that perspective that people are seeing this. And so to just think people aren't allowed to disagree with you and confront you on it. Like, I mean, you know, and uh, I can't remember who said it, but I mean, you know, you shouldn't confront them when they're with their kids, which yes, that is a big thing. You shouldn't confront them when with their kids, but you shouldn't confront them when they're on vacation. Like how many chances do you think Dan, Dan Bailey is going to have in his life to confront Tucker Carlson? Like, I mean, he's supposed to be in that fly fishing shop and think, oh, uh, I'll get Tucker Carlson the next time I see him. No, I mean, you're not going to run into these people on TV very often. I mean, it's not like the ladies of The View are going to The View conventions. I guess that would be a great venue for people to give feedback. No, that's not when it's happening. It's You're only seeing them like out on the street randomly. So sure, I I disagree with coming up and you know accosting someone and yelling at them in the middle of the street. No, that, that's not the way to do it. I actually, I actually think Dan Bailey's way of doing it was very appropriate. He wasn't shouting, kind of kept his voice down because I think Tucker Carlson's daughter was in the shop. But yeah, he kept his voice down and he gave his opinion. I mean, he's allowed to do that. So I don't think there's anything wrong with what Dan Bailey did. And yeah, I'm actually very surprised at the view of the ladies that they have this idea that viewers aren't allowed to give them feedback.